this is Saudamini and I am a design consultant at REV. Today we are at a home tour for an independent house located at Banargata Main Road. Let us go inside and see how beautifully this has been curated. This is a three floored house which has four rooms. Let us go one by one and see each element in this house. As soon as we enter, the first thing that catches our eye is the foyer unit. This foyer has been beautifully adorned with veneer and laminate finish. Here, there was a column. To make this column look richer, we've gone for veneer finished laminates in all the ends, so it gives a very authentic and traditional look. Coming towards this area, we've given a proper seater unit where about three to two people can sit and relax and also have some amount of storage below. There is also a very elegant metallic partition unit that has two purposes. One is to act as a privacy area for somebody entering so they can't see the kitchen directly. Another one is to make it look aesthetically appealing and very rich. We are now at the living area of the house. The TV unit is coming under the staircase area. To highlight this complete area, we've covered the entire wall. Let us see how. Here, what we've done is we've adorned the entire wall with a finish of marble and rose gold. We've gone for a marble finished laminates and little rose gold accents in between. This gives a very subtle and elegant look to the entire area. This entire TV unit has sufficient drawers to keep your receivers, mobile chargers and many things. In between, we have given glass shutters embedded with rose gold finish that blends perfectly with the gold accents. Overall, this entire TV unit area gives a very warm, subtle and elegant look. This entire TV unit has a touch of traditional look. Towards the end of the TV unit, we've given a veneer finished louver that blends perfectly with the base unit, giving this a subtle and soft look once again. Towards the end of the louvers, we've given a pebble tray rack to complement with the entire look. I am now sitting at this very nice and comfortable plush sofa. Behind me, there's an intricate detailing of Victorian themed wall molding. Between the wall molding, we've given wallpaper just to give a little bit of floral touch to this elegant room. To complement with the entire area, we've also gone for a very subtle and soft toned sofa. Here, we've opted for a tone of pastels that blend perfectly with the traditional concept as well as the Victorian wall behind me. Since this entire space gives a very warm and soft feeling, we've opted to go for a very simple and elegant peripheral ceiling. To give the ceiling a little bit of a richer look, we've gone for a fan come light. So it serves both the purposes. One, it's aesthetically appealing. Two, it's very functional, especially in the summers. As soon as we enter, we've beautifully welcomed with this foyer area. Here, we've opted to go for a little bit of mirror accents, wallpaper, and the same veneer finished laminate that's, that we've used in the TV unit. Here, for the ceiling, we have given veneer finished laminates towards the end, wallpaper towards the middle and in the atmost periphery, we have gone for gold accents. The same gold accents has been paired up for the Buddha wall and the same gold accents has again been repeated in the TV unit, providing the same design language throughout the house. This entire space gives a very rich, authentic, traditional and a bit of contemporary look to the house. This entire house has been designed in a soft and eclectic tone. Let us now go to the dining and kitchen area and see how subtlety is royalty. We are now at the dining area of the house. This dining area has been beautifully adorned with a fall ceiling. We've opted to go for a peripheral fall ceiling with rose gold mirror at the center. The rose gold mirror is again highlighted by the gold accents here and there. At the center, we've gone for a fan come light that gives warmth and complete air ventilation for anybody entering through the lift. Let us now see the puja unit and other areas just to highlight the entire space. For the puja unit, the client has opted to go for a teak wood door and a little bit of brass to the door to highlight the same. Here, we've again gone for a veneer finished laminate towards the end to blend with the same teak wood door. Let me open the door and show you how we have designed it inside. As soon as I open the door, we get a sense of calm and peace. Here, we've adorned the entire wall with marble finished laminate and a grey finished laminate that blends completely with the area and it also gives a very peaceful and devotional vibe. One more highlight of this puja room is that this has a complete skylight and the proper natural air ventilation enters the god.
Let us now go to the kitchen area and see how we've designed the same. This house has many Insta-worthy accent walls. This wall behind me is one such wall. Here, we've opted to go for a marble finished laminate with rose gold tea putties just to highlight the entire area. This marble finished laminate is completely blending with the TV unit that you can see from here. Now, let us go to the kitchen area and see how we have designed that. This kitchen has been designed in a contemporary theme using subtle colors. The entrance of the kitchen has been adorned with veneer laminate on the top to give it a very authentic and traditional look. Let us now enter the kitchen and see how subtly we have designed this too. This kitchen has been designed in a color tone of sandalwood and white. Tones like these will never go out of style and it will always be the perfect match for your kitchen. Here, we have also opted to go for long drawers that increases the area space and makes the space look wider. Let us go one by one and see the beautiful kitchen. For this kitchen, we have given a long wall unit to keep your spice rack and other glass shutter units with rose gold handles just to have a very nice attractive look to your kitchen. We have also given a very special unit for the corner. Let me show you that. Here, we have given a corner unit with a pull out so you can keep all the items easily and it's easily accessible whenever you need it. This kitchen also has a very nice and elegant chimney that completely blends with the wall unit. Again, for the wall unit, we've gone for soft tones like white and rose gold finish for the handles. This entire area looks spacious even though the kitchen is very small. Towards the end of the kitchen lies the sink area. For the sink, we have given air vents to remove any kind of pungent odour and smell. This entire kitchen has been designed in an acrylic finish tone. Acrylic is a highly reflective material and again it gives a very premium look to the space. Towards the end of this kitchen, we have a fridge unit that has been completely camouflaged with the walls. Let me show you how. Here, the entire space has been hidden and you can keep all your storage items and nobody will even know. This entire space has been designed again in a white themed tone just to give a sense of spaciousness and to increase the area's look. Now, let us see the parents' bedroom of the house. This parents' bedroom looks very spacious and rich. Here, we've opted to go for a white toned bed with upholstered headboard and a little bit of buttons in the middle just to give a soft and subtle look to the room. To highlight this bed, we've gone for a metallic finish louvers that blend perfectly and make this bed look very rich. Here lies a perfect and a beautiful floor to ceiling sliding wardrobe and let us go and see how that has been designed. Sliding wardrobes makes the area look bigger. Here we've opted to go for a floor to ceiling sliding wardrobe. In this sliding wardrobe, we've given a very different print. We've gone for a flowy tone of blue and purple that blends with the bed as well as the entire ambience of the room. This entire wardrobe has a rose gold finish handle and has complete storage behind it. You can access this very easily by just a single touch. Similarly, this door has also been opened very easily. This entire wardrobe has soft closure and gives a very nice feeling to the space. For the fall ceiling, we've opted to go for a simple and elegant peripheral ceiling. Here, it gives an ambient look to the room and also adds more subtlety to the room. We are now at the dressing area of the room. This room is a little small and there was a problem for giving a dressing area as according to Vastu, once you get up, you're not supposed to see your face. To avoid this, what we've done is, we've given a cabinet where you can open it and then there'll be mirror inside. This serves the purpose for a mirror and it also solves the vastu. Let us now go to the first floor of the house. For a client who is looking into going for a premium yet elegant interiors, then this house is the epitome of all of it. Here, we have given just two to three color options and yet the home gives a very nice and warm feeling throughout. At REV, we curate the best of your interests and give the best design options, making you feel, yes, I am at home. As soon as we climb upstairs, we pause to look at this beautiful chandelier that has been dropped down. This chandelier has been done with little petals and long bubble lights that gives a very soft and subtle look to the room. We are now at the family area of the house. Here, we have opted to go for a subtle and elegant look. 
We have given black transparent glass with silver finished handles where you can keep your kids books, toys and other items. To complement with this, we have given wooden louvers and to complement with this even more, we have gone for a marble and brown finish to the entire concept. Here, we have given a TV come study unit where two people or at least one person can work as while the other watches TV. Below the TV unit, we have gone for storage units with little intricate knobs that completely blends with the theme of the house and the complete area gives a subtle and rich look. This entire family room has a beautiful fall ceiling with a little bit of cuts here and there just to give it a nice and rich look. Now, let us go to the guest room and see how we have curated the same. For the guest bedroom, we have opted to go for a violet upholstered headboard that blends perfectly with the wallpaper and side table. For the side table, we have given a pearl grey finish and also a little bit of concrete structure that blends perfectly with the entire ambience of the room. Here, we have given floral wallpaper that gives a soft and subtle look to the room. To highlight the wallpaper and the bed, we have given ambient lighting and wall lights towards the end of the wall. Here, we have also given peripheral fall ceiling just to give a soft touch to the space. For the wardrobe area, we have opted to go for a shimmery finished laminate as well as a concrete finished laminate and a touch of mirror here and there. This wardrobe completely blends with the side table. Towards the end of the wardrobe, we can see a nice and long dressing mirror that completely makes the space look bigger and also acts as a perfect space saver. Now, let us go and see the master bedroom. We are now at the master bedroom of the house. This master bedroom had a nice window. To make it very beautiful, we have opted to go for a window seater and we have covered the entire window through panelling. This gives the perfect spot for you to just look out and have your me time. This window seater also has sufficient storage for you to keep all your unwanted items. To brighten the space, we've also opted to go for a fall ceiling with strip lights. This gives a very hotel-like feeling and gives a rich feeling to the room. I am now at the most comfortable bed of the house. Here, we've gone for a very nice upholstery that reaches the ceiling. For the upholstery, we've gone for a cappuccino colour that blends perfectly with the gold accents. This entire ambience is very rich-like. Usually, we recommend clients to go for hydraulic lift-ups or drawer storage. However, here there is sufficient amount of storage. Hence, we've gone for the same upholstered cushioning for the entire bed and this gives a very rich look to the house. This also makes it very easy for you to clean, put your mops and brooms. To give this room a little bit of blissful and an ethereal touch, we've gone for a swan-shaped light. This light is completely enhanced by the wallpaper. If you see the wallpaper very closely, we've used the same colour tones as that of the bed. Now, let us go and see the wardrobe. The upholstery of the bed is completely highlighted by the marble finished laminate. If you're wondering where is the wardrobe for this room, then let me show you where we've concealed the wardrobe. Here, we've given a push to open door that once you open, you can see the complete wardrobe space. This wardrobe space is beautiful with again white and brown finish. This gives a complete rich look to the room and it also makes the space look very spacious. This entire wall has been adorned beautifully by the wardrobe. This wardrobe has crisscross rose gold tea putties that makes the area look richer. This end of the wardrobe has a vanity door so that you can access the washroom. The complete wardrobe has been covered and the bottom of the wardrobe has drawers. This area is completely spacious and gives a very nice feeling once you enter. As soon as you enter from the washroom, you can look at yourself and dress up by the beautiful sensor mirror that we have provided. Now, after seeing the master bedroom, let us go to the third floor and see the innovative kids room. Before entering the kids room, let us now see the gym area. Here, we have covered the entire space through a wardrobe and a seater. For this wardrobe, we have gone for a simple white finish that completely camouflages the entire wall. We have also opted for a different handle that looks nice and elegant and gives a gym room kind of feeling. To give this room an ambient touch, we have also gone for a crisscross fall ceiling that makes the entire area look nice and bright. Let us now enter the fun filled kids bedroom and see how uniquely we have designed the kids room. This fun filled kids bedroom has it all. It has an elegant wallpaper, a cute bed and the perfect wardrobe. Let me show you one by one.
we have gone for a very unique concept for the bed. Here, we have given curved shaped upholstery that gives a very fun filled element to the room. To highlight this bed even more, we have gone for a very nice and cute wallpaper. This wallpaper bed completely blends with the wardrobe study and the entire room. For the wardrobe, we have given a canvas color painting. This looks like a painting, it doesn't even look like a wardrobe. At the center, we have given a brown theme touch. This complete wardrobe gives a very fun fill element to the room and even the drawers below have a very cute bus shaped handle. One more highlight of this wardrobe is that it completely conceals the wall. Here, you can open the door like this, making it completely more spacious and you can store a lot of art items. I really like this room concept and let us go ahead and see the similar design language flowing for the study. Opposite side of the bed, we have given the perfect study unit. In a kid's room, it's very essential to have enough amount of storage to keep your toys, stationeries and books. Here, we have given a movable drawer unit that is easily accessible and you can keep the n number of toys and other stationeries. For the wall unit, we have given a nice canvas color laminate that blends perfectly with the wardrobe. Here, we have also given elephant shaped handles that gives a very fun filled element to the room and it again blends with the wardrobe. This entire space gives a very nice innovative touch. Since this room has variety of colors and innovative ideas, we have opted to go for a simple and elegant fall ceiling that blends perfectly with the ambience of the room. So this is it for today's home tour video. If you want your house to be designed in a unique way, do contact REV and our complete details have been given in the description box below. This is Saudamini signing off. We'll see you in the next home tour video.